Hi there, this is Athol. This is an episode of Ask Athol Anything. Uh, if you have a question for me, you can send it to askathelanything at gmail.com and it will perhaps become part of the show. So let's jump to today's question. This is a follow-up question to the early episode, Stay at Home Dad and Acts of Service. Um, so here's the question. What if you can't figure out what attracted your wife to you in the first place? Or you suspect it was your potential earning power, but then you got laid low by the recession and your career never recovered. Okay, so that's kind of two questions, but I do, I do have one thought that immediately jumps to me is that uh, you won't believe how many marriages started struggling in 2008 uh, because of that you know, sort of global recession. And I've had people from uh, all over the world that you know, had a decent high paying job, they took a big hit or got you know, straight up unemployed through no fault of their, fault of their own. Um, that's a real thing. I mean, that is all over the world. There were just lots of marriages that I can look back on and I can see 2008, maybe 2009, as a real big sort of crisis point for them. Just the economic recession. So it's re that's real. So if you can't quite figure out what attracted your wife to in the first place, well, I don't know how to help you with that either because I don't know your wife and I would need... Uh, a much sort of longer back and forth with you. I'd really need a coaching call of some description to figure out what you know, she was particularly attracted to. I'd have to ask a lot more questions. But let's run with the thought of maybe it was the earning power. Yeah, you know, and and that's a real thing. You know, there are women who really are attracted to a guy's career status, his social standing, and part of that is income. And that's their type. That's their brand of attraction. Yeah, we all have different brands of attraction, different you know, different things we're particularly interested in in the opposite sex. So if your wife's brand of attraction really was that sort of social status and your high profile, high, high career job, and now you're a stay-at-home dad, well, then yes, that's a real problem. That's a structural problem. And you can now have a decent income because she's earning and you can be doing great stuff at home and things can be running smoothly, but it's really not necessarily going to you know, float her boat in terms of how she feels about you and how attracted she feels and how tuned on she feels. And it's particularly problematic if she is then going to work in a higher status career and she's getting to meet guys of high status you know, with good careers, high paying jobs, because that's her type. So that really is a problem. And I think you just have to admit that this is a structural issue. There is no amount of magical thinking that's going to change this. You can't necessarily uh, just be super alpha and playful and funny and engaging and alpha at home and leadership and all this sort of stuff that is going to overcome this sort of status defect that you now have. The only solution is you have to really knuckle down and find a way to have some sort of second career, to have some sort of you know, follow-up to the life that you had. Uh, and that's incredibly easy for me to say, and I get that the reality is it's probably very hard to do. Uh, but it is just something that's probably part of the equation. And anything more that you do than being a stay-at-home dad is probably for the best. And, uh, and I'm not having any expectation that this is something that you can fix in six weeks. Uh, it may require some sort of schooling. It may require a couple of years of, of you know, really grinding away at something, not getting a whole bunch, bunch of money. Uh, in order to be able to get yourself to the place where you can do that. But it's probably going to be a big piece of the puzzle in terms of really attracting here. And seeing this is the original guy asking about, who asked, you know, the stay-at-home dad and acts of service, um, this may be why it's hard to please her. If she is interested in acts of service, but it's acts of service from a high-status guy, then this is why you're doing a whole bunch of acts of service and, and being kind and sweet and all that sort of stuff, 
is not really working if you are a low status guy or at the very least a lower status than what she perceives herself to be. So it's a hard, brutal answer, but the solution may have to be starting a, some sort of new story arc and really working on a second career where you have some sort of hope of some, some kind of elevated income. Now, but really, take what, what, what to also take from this, though, is I don't think it necessarily has to be a superstar, ultra-high performance thing. Um, something is going to be better than nothing. Something good is just going to be better than something, and something great is better than something good. But every little bit helps. And at this point, we don't actually know how good you need to be in order to sort of meet that minimum threshold of what she's looking for. Um, like I say, though, if this is what she's into, this is what she's into. And it's not your fault. It's not her fault. It's just the way it is. So... That being said, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, I'm really going to have a drink of water or something. I'm getting scratchy. I'm getting over my flu. So anyway, uh, if you have a question for me, ask anything at gmail.com. And until then, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good internet stuff. And I will catch you next time.